Hey guys, Zamworth here. Um, here's my minecart test map. I've been playing with booster tracks and detector tracks since 1.5 came out. Uh, trying to find something to replace the Pez dispenser that the community has come to use quite a bit. Because uh, Notch said he's planning to remove uh, minecart glitching so the minecart boosters uh, won't be able to drag carts out of the Pez dispenser anymore. So this is hoping to uh, fix that and give us like a viable option to uh, use some sort of dispenser system. So uh, this is the basic layout of the final design. Uh, it uses uh, sort of cells. This is two cells. Um, the way they work together is you have they have to mirror back and forth. So this pattern basically is repeated uh, for as many times as you want. Um, the track parts are in blue, uh, that's where the cart rides on, uh, the blacker what the cart hits against to fall down to the next cell. Um, we have an RNS nor latch at the bottom here, which keeps track of if a cart's in the cell or not and activates the previous cell's boosters if, it, if the cell is empty. Um, I have the torches at the top here just to make sure that these boosters always stay on because sometimes when the cart rides over the button, the button glitches out and doesn't stay on long enough to uh, push the cart into the black box and they'll get stuck up top. Um, the purple line here uh, resets the previous RS door latch to make sure that uh, it sends off and this green line right here comes out of the RS door latch and activates the booster track. So, yeah, it's the basic principle. I have a uh, working copy right here. Uh, same thing, this holds six carts. Right now it's empty. So if we want to just add a few carts to it, we can do that. <laughs> Alright, so all your empty carts in the station will come up here, or enter in here, and they will cascade down to the first available cell. Uh, you just keep sticking more carts in. So once it's full, uh, the last cell here, the carts will be diverted and you can either run them into a cactus or send them off to the station or anything really. Uh, it's up to you depending on how you want your station to work. So now the cells are full, we can go over and hit the button and request a cart. So when you click the button, the first cart arrives and you can see all the other cells will cascade the carts down one. Uh, click it again. Oops. Try not to stand on the ground because it makes that stupid noise. Uh, they'll cascade again and we can keep doing this. I added a little indicator light saying a new cart is ready just for fun. I also added a buzzer so that when you run out of carts and try to request a new cart in case you know people are blind and don't see the torch um, they can tell that there's no carts left so yeah so if we just stick another cart in the end uh, it'll get ejected to the station and the buzzer will go off Oops. The good thing about this system is it's very uh, robust and hard to tamper with. You can't really do much about it because all the logic stored in RS nor latches. Um, I guess the only tampering you can do is remove carts out of the cells. So by placing them in the cell and then pickaxing them because the RS nor latches won't get updated. But otherwise it's pretty good I think. It's as compact as I get. I tried to make it uh, more compact, but I ran into problems with uh, torches uh, crossing over into track boosters when I didn't want them to and yeah, messing everything up. The track pieces are very finicky, the booster track is very finicky with power. I've had the booster tracks turn on when a torch wasn't even nearby or any redstone for that matter and I just couldn't get it any smaller than what it is right now. 
Uh, this is my first design. Everything's nice and spread out, so I can use it as a template to uh, try make it smaller. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll try help out as best as I can. Uh, hopefully, get a world save up so you guys can copy it and experiment with it. I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.